Yes, my guy, what are you saying? Anyways, listen, in this video, I am going to teach you and I'm also going to show you how you can improve your explosive acceleration, your speed dribbling and shooting. By the end of this video, you should have at least a good knowledge of what you can start doing when you go out there to train on your own. I have split up the session into about four segments. So in the video as well, I am going to tell you why I am doing this and how you can use these of drills in a game scenario. It should take you about an hour and 10. Whenever I train, I like to be in a training zone. The reason is because whenever I am at a training zone, my training level picks up. Listen to me, please take your training seriously. Look at me. I even came out with a full kit. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's how serious I take my training. So when you're warming up, always try your best to do few mobility. So on here, I am basically going to be doing this exercise for 30 seconds before changing. This exercise is good for your hip flexors and groin. This muscle, your glute, is one of the most important muscles of your body. Okay? This muscle is linked with your lower back, which is this part of your back. So when your glute is tight, your lower back as well becomes quite tight so when you have a tight back your performance usually just decreases your range of motion decreases which can impact your performance in training or games if you feel uncomfortable doing that you can just go like this and just sit in it so when you sat on it you should feel a stretch here completely if you're doing it right for your lower back this exercise is one of my favorite what you do start here Link back you can see my full range of motion how my toes are touching the floor when i'm doing it so look again to the side oh that feels good why go swim? i need you to understand that when i'm doing all these things it reduces the chances of me getting injured and improve my performance it's so simple so you have to do all these things i understand sometimes you just want to skip and get into the main part but for you to get to the main part you have to do these all things so take that extra time work on your mobility range of motion but anyways let's get into some explosive acceleration drills acceleration is one of the most important aspects of the game in a game let's say if you play a full 90 minute you will find yourself doing about 60 to even 100 acceleration and those accelerations are different sort of movement so here you're gonna perform this four times okay listen to me when it comes to being explosive and having that acceleration it's a full body motion you need to have a good acceleration you need to have a good technique as well so when you're sprinting try to have your arms and legs try and be like this not like that some people will be running like this and they will lose momentum so all the energy is being transferred to that side instead of going forward so if your energy is transferring that side it's, it's you're, you're losing power and speed so it will become slower so if you can adjust your body and run a bit like this going forward you are transferring energy forward making you quicker if you look at sterling He's one of the quickest players, but then again, his technique is awful. My guy is just running like this, bro. <laughs> Here is the next one. So in a game, at times, you will need to accelerate sideways, like to push away from your man, 
and go. So this is why I am doing this drill. I would perform this four times. So quick, bruv. Don't forget, drive your arms as well. One tip to increase your acceleration is basically taking smaller steps. The reason is because if you can take smaller steps, you are generating a lot more force, which will allow you to sprint to be quick and have that acceleration. In the game, at times, you, you will need to have that quick burst of acceleration. Instead of you having long strides to sprint there, you are losing that acceleration, that force, because you're overstriding. So if you can take in the first five steps, can be quite short, it will help you a lot. So a little sh short one. So on here, I am focusing to change direction really quick and I'm also sprinting at top speed. So I am gonna start from a standstill position and I just go when I'm ready. So with this drill, it is forcing me to adjust my body really quick whenever I'm sprinting at high speed. So this is why I'm also doing it. So sometimes in a game, you will sprint, but you won't get the ball, so you have to curve your run before making that second run in behind. So this is something that I kind of make a game specific. Okay, same setup, but on here I am focused on sprinting, digital sprinting. Take a look. At the end of the video, I am going to come back and do some explosive drills to maximize everything I've been working on. So for you to also improve, you need to have hypertrophy in your training. I had a good five minutes rest, but now here's the next drill. On here, I am focusing on some speed dribbling and I'm gonna finish with a shot. It's game specific. Let's say it's in midfield. I just won the ball. So the first phase of the dribbling here is to have control of the ball by nudging it in and out of the cones and then from there it's a quick burst of pace into the cones and those cones is where I have to be very direct as well and changing my direction really quick and to finish off with a shot so take a look Every time when I'm dribbling on the first stage, I am changing it up, making it realistic. When you are training, try your best to use both feet. So work on your weak foot and your strong foot always. So mix it up. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Get a shot off with your weak foot. A shot off with your right foot. Do the sort of things that you would do in a game. Okay, so now, every time that I'm gonna be attacking my man, I have to do a skill to get a shot off. So on here, the next stage of my training is pushing my mindset, my, myself, like look, you have to do a skill before getting a shot off because at next level, at times, you will have to come up with a skill to beat your man before getting a shot off. Okay, so this is why I'm forcing myself to do a skill here in training. Yeah, so whenever I go to the next stage, I've got this in my book, in my lockers that I can pull out. I am going to take 10 shots of this. So here's the next speed drill. So how would you use this in a game? Good question. So in a game at times you will get in that position in the final third. So now that's where you have to compose yourself and try to get a shot off really quick. So in here I am basically nudging the football for about seven seconds as fast as I can. And when I'm also doing it, I'm trying to look up. And within that seven seconds, I'm trying to shift it really quick into an area to get my shot off again.
rest for about 30 seconds repeat the same thing about six times So this is the next speed dribbling drill I am going to be doing because in a game at times when I, whenever I make my runs in behind or basically whenever I receive the ball I find myself in this soft area so at times I have to literally just drive forward to get a cross in or a shot. So from that first goal to that last one it's about 15 meters, 15 to 20 meters so I'm going to sprint as fast as I can there then when I get there control myself slow down and then attack, navigate with the football to get a shot off. So Here is the next drill. Okay, why am I doing this drill? Again, it's game specific. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to be facing basically that way. So I am using this as if, let's say, that ball get crossed in the box. So the ball get crossed in the box. I mean, I run. I don't, and then I'm offside. I come back in here. It gets played inside. But obviously, I have no one to play with. I'm going to dribble it in and out here. Come out, finish. That's the aim, basically. Obviously, non-league football, the pitches are not the best. Sometimes they will bubble about. So the reason I put those cones there is so that I can sort out my feet and turn and shoot, literally. Get in there, lad. Yeah, yeah, step out. Oh, take it! Ah. Yes, yes, yes! Out! Sit up, sit up! That will happen in a game, innit? Yes! Too slow! Quicker! Ah, switch it, switch it. Yes. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. So yes, my people, that's basically it there for the shooting. And I'm going to do that about 15 balls, literally, that's it. And now let me talk to you about hypertrophy. I was telling you earlier, when you train, you need to have a bit of some hypertrophy in your training so that you can improve. I don't want to go into details, but let me just jump straight forward. Okay, now, to combine everything that I've been doing to see a maximum result, I'm going to do a bit of some parametric training. Nothing crazy, and I'm going to perform. So this is the first one. Simple. One. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the same thing again. Three times. And go low, 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 low. Explode up. Sit down to it. Back up. Low, 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 low. Explode up. Slide into it. Back up. Have that balance as well. So let's go again. Low, 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 low. Explode up. Sit into it. That's it. Perform this four times. Go down. Let go. Four. There. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest for a minute. Repeat this exercise just twice, and that's all. So, if you're new to the channel, like I've said, subscribe down below. Road to Pro. If you haven't seen my series just yet, check it out. 
one tip as well for you to see results it's important that you do this of training quite often so i recommend you do this at least twice a week so that way you will see a massive improvement one more exercise anyway one more if the camera dies then it's dead so all you're gonna be doing it's lateral all right gonna be there there That's it. Four left foot, four right foot. Rest for a minute. Repeat the same thing again three times. For a minute, repeat the same thing again, just three times. That's all. Okay, listen, I forgot to tell you. Do you know when you finish training, it's always important to finish with a cool down. So do like a quick four minutes of you stretching about. Don't do too much. It could be like a steady jog for a minute. Then once you've done that for a minute, then just stretch. You know, simple things. I'm going to try and show you what I'm doing right now. But if the camera died, then it's dead. Come on, camera. Stay on. Hey, it's on. It's on. So, obviously, imagine you just finished that. Now you can just come in like that. You know, lay things like this. It feels good. Then just hold that. Oh, damn, I feel good. The good thing as well, tomorrow I have a game. 7.45 kickoff. So, obviously, I have... So, basically, it gives me more than 24 hours to recover. Ready for my game tomorrow. So, I am going to try to film the game for you as well. So you get to see that look my training i just don't train for the sake of training and it always works so far this season i've already scored five goals and i've assisted one and i think i've played in seven games already um so obviously all my training this year is paying off all the things i've been doing working on is paying off so i just need to keep going and obviously i am on a journey road to pro this is just for new viewers so if you're new watching this content subscribe so you get to see my journey pretty much and how I'm training don't be so don't be surprised don't be surprised <laughs> don't be surprised you do this stuff for me oh my god I can't flip it don't be subscribed don't be don't be surprised surprise hey I've got it there okay don't be surprised if